welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a vlog because I have to start getting ready for a trip that I have coming up. I'm leaving in two weeks and I really want to get a few things before my trip so I thought I would kind of take out my new vlogging camera. I added a microphone so hopefully the sound is a little bit better than my last vlog. Um, so I'm still kind of testing out this camera so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to kind of just go out and just test out the camera and then also start prepping for my trip because I, I feel like I need a few clothing pieces, a few beauty pieces and yeah I just finished getting ready. I just did my hair and makeup so I have to get dressed and then we're gonna go out um, it's a little bit colder today I think it's like 13 degrees it was like two degrees this morning when I woke up so I'm probably gonna be wearing something a little bit warmer than I have been the past few days which is kind of annoying because I just want to wear like nice summer things um, but yeah so we're gonna be going to some vintage shops and I really have to stop by Sephora and yeah that's pretty much what's going on today okay so I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing today I have this like gray wool set that I might wear I feel like that could be kind of cute um, something like this with the set and then I have the little matching jacket and I think I'm just gonna wear like a blouse I have this one. It's kind of like a creamy colored one. It ties in like a little bow with a little Peter Pan collar. It's like a Juicy Couture one and I think that could be kind of cute. Um, okay, I'm just going to change and I will see you guys in like one second. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest. So the intro that you just watched was actually from yesterday because as soon as I hit record, I got a call from the dentist. And if you watched my Get Ready With Me, which was my previous video, you guys know I was waiting for a call from a different dentist because I had to have a dental procedure done. And I have a trip coming up, so I really wanted to have it done like obviously sooner rather than later um and as soon as i hit record to start this vlog i actually got a call from a dentist and they were like can you get here in like an hour we had a cancellation and we can squeeze you in and i was like perfect let's get this done and over with so i had that yesterday it was done everything's fine obviously and now i'm gonna be filming the vlog that i was filming yesterday today so the intro you guys just watched is from yesterday Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I didn't really, nothing really happened anyway yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to be wearing the same outfit that I was planning on wearing yesterday because I didn't end up wearing it because I was just going to the dentist. Um, so right now I'm wearing this little blouse. I don't know what happened to this collar. I don't think I straightened it in the wash. It just kind of, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be wearing something over top. Today is like 12 degrees. So I'm going to be wearing this blouse. I have my slip on with some tights and I'm going to be wearing that little like gray wool set that I was going to be wearing yesterday. Okay, I lowered the camera a little bit so you guys could actually see the full outfit. So this is the little matching set that I'm going to be wearing. It looks kind of like secretary-ish right now without the jacket, but I have this little 1940s gray like wool skirt. It's a little bit thinner than some of like the really wintry ones. Um, and then I have this little matching jacket that is obviously, obviously, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Um, obviously from the 1940s because it's a matching set. Maybe I should wear a hat, like a wide rim one. I feel like this could be kind of cute. Is this too wintry? Whatever, it doesn't matter, I'm running late. Oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful day. I'm hoping that you guys can see me. It is so sunny outside, but it is such a beautiful day. Honestly, this is like the perfect outfit to be wearing today. And yeah, the sun is shining. Oh, the sun is shining and I have like all these flowers here. This is like a Dundon Castle, so it's on the way of the place that I was going to. So since I was driving past it, I was like, let me just stop in and see if they have any flowers and look at all the beautiful flowers. Like there's just more flowers over on this side so let me just bring you guys around I feel like the Sun's gonna be like in my face but it's fine I mean look at all the flowers they just look so pretty Okay, I had to take my hat off for a second because I'm walking and it's a little bit windy where I was and I have tried like four times to get this meter thing working for my car and it's just not accepting cards, which is super annoying. So luckily I'm at Vintage Soul Geek, so Nick and Connie are like the sweetest people ever and Nick gave me some change so that I could actually park my car. Um, so now I'm going back to my car. <sighs> I hate the machines for like parking because I feel like they never work for me for some reason. They wouldn't even let me like tap my card. So it's not even like it's like my card that's the issue. Anyway, I will see you guys when I'm inside Vintage Soul Geek. Car is parked. 
Now to go to the meter. Oh my gosh you guys let me turn this music down before I get copyrighted so that went amazingly I got the most amazing thing ever I'll show you guys when I get home I couldn't really talk too much in the store because I was the only one there and it was, the music was also a little bit loud which is fine while you're in there but for copyrights for my video but I ended up finding one of the most amazing pieces something that I've had pinned and like have wanted for so long I actually had a dream I was telling Nick inside the store like I actually had a dream like two nights ago that I had this piece at a thrift store and somebody else took it and I was just like following them around it was just I guess it was just meant to be um, so anyway I just finished with that I'm gonna go to another vintage store in this area and then I think I'm gonna stop by Sephora because I got the wrong perfume travel size perfume that I wanted for my trip so I'm gonna go do that um, so yeah let's go I'm so excited to show you guys what I got okay so I'm on my way to another vintage store like I said and this one had a meter behind the store and luckily this one was actually working because the other one was not working so I was able to actually pay the parking for my car um, and the store is literally just right here on the corner I'm still shocked that I was able to find like a vintage piece of my dreams I can't wait to show you guys it's absolutely stunning um, but anyway so here is the next store that I'm gonna be going to you can kind of see the purple there out of the past summer and stuff and it has a chin strap or I guess you could put it like behind your hair to like tie it down to your head but okay so I just left the store and I ended up buying one of the hats I'll show you guys uh, I ended up buying this hat because I thought it would be really great for my trip because it does have that chin strap so I don't have to worry about it like flying away in the wind or anything and it actually fits me like perfectly and I think it's gonna go well with like so many different outfits so I'm really happy about that um I didn't really see anything else that I liked I feel like that the vintage store or thrift store is like a little bit hit and miss sometimes you find really amazing things sometimes you don't really find anything um so now i'm just gonna go to sephora because i have to exchange the perfume that i bought and yeah that's pretty much it one that I'm looking for but they're sold out because the one behind it is a different one which is the one that I bought originally which is the wrong one so this is the one that I actually need 
Okay, I'm at another mall for attempt number two to try and get the right perfume. The girl at the other location, she was so sweet, she called ahead to make sure that they actually have one for me because online it said that they had one at the other store that I went to, but I don't know what happened. Um, but they have it on hold for me, so yay! I've actually been wanting to try these like perfume oils. Have any of you guys tried these? They just look so pretty. And I just want to try them so bad, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried these because they smell so good. I think my favorite one is this one. It's like the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil and it smells so good. Mm, I love that one. And then the Seville Orange is pretty nice. I don't really like, usually like orange scents, but that one actually is pretty nice. So that's definitely on my like to watch list to see if I pick that up next time. I love that it's like an oil. It's, Well, they also have a coconut scent, which I think that would be super nice as well. This is the coconut one. That smells like summer, like literally just going to the beach. Oh my god, that is amazing. Love that. Definitely adding this to my shopping list. I think I actually like the coconut better than the vanilla one that I showed you guys earlier. Okay, I had to get out of there before I spend way more money. I already spent way too much money today at the vintage stores. So I did end up getting my exchange, the perfume. The packaging looks exact same, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, it is so bright over here. One second. Uh, I don't know why they make it so similar because it's so easy to get them like mixed up. But anyway, okay, let's go home before I spend any more money. Um, I can't wait to show you guys the things that I got at the vintage stores. Actually, there's not even that many things. There's like three things. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I get home. So change of plans, I'm in the area of my favorite coffee shop. So I thought that I would kind of hop in before they close because it's 420 and they close at five. Um, however, this hat is really annoying to walk in in the wind. So I have to pin it down. Luckily it has this hole here so I can just pin it at the very top of my head. I do this all the time if I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside. So luckily I have my emergency <laughs> bobby pins in my car. I always have some in my glove compartment because you never know when you're gonna need some bobby pins like literally right now. I'm having such a blast you guys just like not even just because of the shopping honestly like item wise I didn't really buy like that much but like just I don't know just looking around and like the sun is shining and I just I don't know I'm just having a really great day. I think that's good. I'm gonna add a couple more at the very back just in case. If you're ever wondering, these are my favorite bobby pins, the QEO brand. I get them at Shoppers Drug Mart. I used to buy bobby pins at the dollar store. Honestly, these ones are life-changing. I didn't realize how much of a difference good quality bobby pins make, but yeah. Okay, let's go get some coffee. It is just such a beautiful day and I'm in such a vloggy mood for some reason. I just like really, really want to vlog. I think it's just like this past few, like couple of weeks that I haven't been able to film anything and now I'm just like really, really excited to film things, so. know what this video has turned into because it was supposed to be a vlog where I go and like try to shop for my trip like clothes that I need but it turned into like me buying things that are not for my trip and then me getting coffee and to Sephora and I don't know I'm just enjoying the sunshine because it is like the most beautiful day and I'm just in the best mood and in a very vloggy mood I feel like I normally get a little bit shy when I'm vlogging in public because obviously but even today when I have this like massive microphone on my camera I'm just kind of like let me talk to you guys everywhere that I go and it feels so good so yeah okay now I'm gonna go home and maybe I'll go for a walk I don't know um, and then I'll show you guys everything that I bought um, Okay, I was looking at the sun and now I can't see. Okay, let's go home. Hi guys, so I'm back home now and I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. Ignore the mess that is in this background right now because I like rushed out the door this morning and I did not even tidy up properly. Oh my God, my hair looks like a disaster. Let me put my hat back on. 
Um, okay, so I just got back home and I wanted to show you guys everything that I got because I got the most amazing things today. So starting off with a piece that you guys have already seen. So it is this hat. You guys saw me trying it on and then I showed you guys that I brought it anyway. Um, so this is from Out of the Past um, and it is gorgeous. I love that it has a little chin strap because it's going to be really convenient to wear when I'm on my trip and that way I won't go flying around. So as you can see, it's a little bit bent here, but with a steamer and I just like put it on the floor and add a little bit of steam on it, it just straightens it right back up. I do that all the time with my hats, especially when I'm like traveling and stuff because they get a little bit squished. Um, but I think this is going to be really great for summer. It looks beautiful. It has that kind of halo effect, which I love because I love a little bit of like drama in my hats. I feel like I don't really love too many hats that are like really tight to my head. I like them to have a little bit of like a halo kind of look to them. Um, so I ended up getting that. Um, and then I also went to Vintage Soul Geek. You guys saw some clips from there and I'm gonna give a little bit of a warning before I showed you guys the next item because it is a vintage fur piece so if that makes you uncomfortable um, I'm gonna put a timestamp so you can kind of skip it however I've talked about this a million times on my channel I feel like I don't really have to say it again but I do love vintage fur I would not buy new fur because I feel like if it's already vintage it already exists I've talked about this like numerous times so again if that makes you uncomfortable or if animal faces on the fur pieces makes you uncomfortable. I'm gonna put a timestamp so you can skip over it. Um, but I did end up getting that white fox shawl and I am obsessed. Like I'm absolutely obsessed. This is something that I have been wanting for the longest time. There's one photo on Pinterest in particular from the 1930s I believe that I've like had on my board for the longest time because it is everything and then I was watching The Devil to Pay which is like that Loretta Young movie 1930 I believe it is um, and she wears this exact thing and I've just been like obsessed with it ever since so I've been on the hunt for this and I kid you not like a week ago I actually had a dream that I was at a thrift store and somebody else found this exact piece and I was like following them around the store and I just I don't know how the dream ended I don't remember so it's definitely been something that's been on my mind maybe I manifested it I don't really know um, so anyway, I did end up getting this. It is in a perfect condition. So it is a birthday present to myself. My birthday is June 1st. Um, so this is something that I got for myself. Um, so I got that. And then the other thing that I got from Vintage Soul Geek is those little um, shorts. It's like a little slip, but it's shorts. I have been wanting something like this for the longest time, and I can never find one in my size. So this one was in perfect condition in my size. So yeah, got that. And then you guys saw that I stopped by Sephora. I had to go to two because yesterday I ended up buying the wrong perfume. It, the packaging looks the exact same, so I can see why I got confused. But um, the one that I wanted is this travel size perfume so that I could take it on my trip later in June. Um, and it is the YSL's Black Opium, but La Parfum. Specifically, the other one that I ended up buying was Eau de Parfum. I don't even think I'm pronouncing it properly, but you guys get it. Um, this one smells way different for me, and I just absolutely love it. So this is what I'm going to be wearing on my entire trip. Love it. Um, this I can link down below for you guys. The vintage pieces, obviously I can't, but this one I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, I got that, and I got this nail polish, which is very, very, very rare for me. I never wear nail polish. You guys see my hands never have anything on them, but I kind of wanted to get something just like one specific color so that I could just have kind of like a classic red nail polish. So I ended up getting the Dior 999, which matches the lipstick that I really like. So um, we'll see how it goes. I love the packaging. It is so pretty. Looks like that. I'll do a close up so you guys can see it. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to kind of try to wear some nail polish because sometimes I feel like my hands when I'm holding things and I'm filming or taking photos, they look a little like empty. I don't know. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the entire day. I had the most fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had some fun watching it. Don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Also, I'm so sorry if I was just talking like a million kilometers an hour, but I'm just in a really, really good mood and I'm so happy because I had an amazing day and the sun is shining and so sorry if I talked a little bit too fast. I tried my best. Okay, bye.